Good morning everyone, my name is Michelle. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. It is Wednesday morning, I think. Is it Thursday? No, it's definitely Wednesday. So I want to talk about the Summer Wells case again today. And I've been looking through some old videos. You know, I did the members live the other day. Even if you're not a channel member, you might have caught it on the live because it was like viewable to everybody while it was live. It's just members only know it's uh, a replay video talking about the future of the channel. So I went through some of my videos looking at, you know, the success and what I can do to improve the channel and da 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 da, da. So part of that process, I was looking through some of my old videos and I came upon one that was on Michelle Walks, my second channel, from January of this year. And it's got a thumbnail saying, shocking info on it. I forgot about this little nugget of information. So this was from the last time Ziggy went to Tennessee to see Fred Hill, which was January, 2023. And she said that Fred told her about a shallow grave near the Fields Road area. Unfortunately though, it wasn't recorded. She hadn't, she hadn't got a recorder on when Fred said this. So we've only got Ziggy telling us about it. Listen to this. So there was a incident with the, oh, I wish I had that recorded with Fred. I'm gonna have to re-ask him. I guess that there was an incident according to Fred about law enforcement or something with searches and about information getting out about where they were searching and something happened where oh 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 okay guys here's something that i remember fred saying that has never been mentioned before that i know of like i said i haven't been paying attention lately but fred said that um because okay so that area over off of fields road fred or uh, fields and bells road where that other property is of the Bernards, like, or Andy, whatever. Cause there's a, there's a, he has, they have another property. The Bernards have owned another pro property down over on Fields Road that's actually been searched. And it's been focused on very healthily by law enforcement. And I've heard how that confirmed by a lot of people that that's a definite area of interest for some reason. Well, according to Fred, cops, the law enforcement claim, he said law enforcement found a shallow grave like and claimed that she had been moved. Quite the claim. Over on Andy's, that other property, they said that they found what looked like was a freshly dug grave area. Um, and nothing was there. It looked like she had been moved. So a shallow grave in the Fields Road area. And cops didn't find anything. But the implication of the conversation was this could have been Summer Wells buried there on Fields Road. We know that the cops and the search teams have focused heavily on that area. So south of Ben Hill towards Fields Road, Bell Road. It's about, it's about two miles, less as a crow flies. This is a really stupid idea. I'm never going to get through that. I always think I might, but I'm going to tear myself to pieces. Turn around. Uh, ow! See what I mean? Every time the cops have gone back to search. So there would have been late November, early December 2021, and then February 2022. That's where they focused on. So Fred saying that he's heard that there was a shallow grave or what, what searchers thought was a shallow grave made complete sense. Unfortunately, it means Summer's no longer with us and we've got no evidence that even if there was a shallow grave there, that it was Summer. We've no evidence of that at all. It's just the implication then we fast forward just a month to February 2023 and a few days before 
Cotton Simpson died. So in January 2023, when Ziggy visited Fred, he didn't mention anything about this, presumably because he didn't know about it. Because Cotton, new name into the mix <laughs> that none of us have heard of until Fred said it. So Cotton died uh, February 14th. 2023 and shortly before he died he told Fred he has knowledge of what happened to Summer Wells now I don't know whether he means he was responsible for the death of Summer Wells or he just knew about it this is what Fred said to Ziggy in a recent jailhouse call listen to this many of you will have heard this already I don't think for a second that you're involved in Summerwell's case. No, I just I think that no. Andy Bernard is, and I don't. Um, well, uh, no, Hayden's probably got something involved. But another person I believe was involved that we done discussed yesterday. I discussed it with some with some of the bigger dudes, and yeah, they're supposed to be uh, checking a certain area out. Fields Road, or and I said they're supposed to be checking a certain okay. area out. Yeah, and they're more likely found her. Who's the other person that you, Marlena Crawford? No, no, he's going to face away. Oh, another person involved, you think? Yeah. Are you think? Who, Rick? Or Earl Taylor? Uh, no, it was Cotton Simpson. Cotton Simpson. And passed away in jail? No, or prison? he fell off a cliff on the backside of uh, Laura Run Park. Oh, man. They're trying to go to a cave. Wow, have I heard of this person before? Nope. Oh. Um, this is something I just found out myself that I was questioned about. And he had mentioned a bunch of stuff to me that actually I didn't take serious at first, but it's probably where she is. Oh, my God. Pushed off. you know, that's where it started out at first is Laura Park. So since this name, Cotton Simpson, was told to us, us sleuths, we've been looking for Cotton Simpson's relatives, information about Cotton's background and collectively we've got quite a bit of information about this guy now don't we I know that he's the fourth cousin of Gary Simpson the guy who kidnapped Carly Trent uh, from is it 2016 Carly Trent being his niece she was nine at the time from Rogersville uh, Gary Simpson's died now. He was in prison. He died. Yeah, they're fourth cousins. Uh, I've heard that Geordie Sue... Now, I've not heard this from Geordie Sue's own mouth. I've only heard this via Ziggy. And there's a, a cryptic post on uh, Geordie Sue's community wall saying that she's related to Cotton. The implication being Laura, Fred's girlfriend, is related to Cotton. I don't know about that. She says she isn't. I don't know about that. I haven't checked it out. Uh, Laura is not a beach creeker. She comes from Virginia originally. But guess who is related to Cotton? Jory Sue. Haha, <laughs> Jory Sue. She might not know it or not, but she is distantly related to Cotton Simpson. Not that I think it's relevant to Summer's case. It's just an interesting, it's an interesting exercise to do all the genealogy. You know, that place is so close-knit, everybody's related to everybody else, whether they know it or not. It's like round here, in the old days. Not now, because there's lots of new people coming. Jodie Sue would hate it. But in the old days, everybody was related to everybody else, either by marriage or by association, if not by blood. And my best friend at school, when I did my genealogy... I found out that we were fifth cousins. I never knew that. My best friend at school, never knew. Who'd have thought? She was the only one who'd uh, listened to my obsession about dogs when I was uh, a kid. On the contemplation log, can you see? Can you see? No, I haven't cut my hair short. It's just all tucked up under my hat because one of these clowns has robbed my airbrush. They move stuff. They don't chew it, they just move it. And I can't find my airbrush, so my hair's full of knots anyway. Not that I really care, but, you know, there's that. So, so what, 
what can we make of all this? That Cotton Simpson told Fred before he died that Cotton knew where Summer's body was and it was in Laurel Run Park near the waterfall. And Fred has been messaging Ziggy again recently and he's doubled down. He's doubled down that Candice had relations, relations with Cotton, even though Candice swears down that she does not know Cotton whatsoever. Not at all. She was very angry when that was uh, said in originally. I don't know if she's um, been back to double down on her claim that she does not know Cotton. Don says he doesn't know Cotton, but guys, Freddie's sure that uh, Candice especially does know Cotton. And uh, he also says that he thinks that Don and Candice, this is Fred talking to Ziggy via message, that Don and Candice are the main culprits, but Cotton Simpson knows stuff. Don and Candice knows exactly what happened. And when the truth comes out, piece, puzzle pieces are gonna be flying, is what he says. He's still stuck on Don and Candice um, being the main ones. He says, from people trying to lie on him, they're telling more truth than they realize. And then he said, yes, he did ha have knowledge about of the day she went missing. Cotton had lots of knowledge of the day Summer went missing. Candace does know Cotton. He talked about sleeping with her. So what happened to the shallow grave story? What happened to that in January? Are we saying that Summer was buried at Fields Road? Or was that bogus? Was that something else? And then she was moved to Laurel Run. Fred Hill's changing stories. I mean, look, I'm not blaming Fred for not telling Ziggy in January about Cotton Simpson, because if it's true that he didn't know what Cotton Simpson knew, he couldn't have done, could he? I don't know, guys. It's bizarre. It's getting worse. Somebody asked me recently whether I thought we were getting closer to answers. And I'm not sure that we are in the true crime community, but I think law enforcement might be. And that's just my belief, my opinion. I've no knowledge. I just hope, maybe it's just hope, maybe it's just hope that they are close to uh, an end point here and at least at the point of uh, arresting someone. Even if someone's never found that there will one day be justice for her. We hope, we all hope that, don't we? All right, guys, um, Fred Hill's changing stories. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you very soon. It's goodbye from her. It's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from Miss Cassie Springer, who's hunting. Hello. 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 Yes, we're going. Come on then. Tilly gets agitated. She wants to move. <laughs>